so lonely when you leave me I need someone where go home me mm -hmm. I need love, I need daughtery I need love, I need somebody, I need love mm -hmm. I need somebody, I need touch mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I need Bye. daughtery What's up, Scorpio? And welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, my powerful, and my sexy Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, you guys. So we're going to get into this Celtic cross, and we're going to see what Spirit wants you to know, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, who is this reading going to be about? And it came on out. All right, so we have the Page of Swords. Okay, so this reading, Scorpio, some of you could be dealing with a Gemini doesn't have to be. All right, so this is gossip, okay? This talks about receiving bad news, hurtful words here, okay? So there could be some gossip going on, okay? Or someone here could be receiving some type of bad news, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, what is the situation with this page of swords? Anything you need to know about me, Scorpio, will be in the description box below, okay? So what is the situation, Holy Spirit, with this page of swords? The Nine of Pentacles. The situation is, Scorpio, is that you are in this Nine of Pentacles energy, okay? Now, some of you could be an entrepreneur. If you're not an entrepreneur, Scorpio, if you don't have your own business or working on something, that means, Scorpio, you're just very successful in whatever it is that you're doing, okay? You represent, baby, financial security. So the situation is that somebody here, like I said, there could be some gossip going on, okay? There could be some gossip going on about you and how you got this money, okay? How you became financially secure, okay? How you became very independent, how you up here enjoying the fruits of your labor, okay? There, be, there can be a lot of gossip, like people up here trying to figure out, like, how Scorpio get this money? How Scorpio been doing what they got going on, okay? So tell us more, Holy Spirit. Let's go back to the page of swords. Tell us more about this page of swords. What's this gossip? What's this gossip, Holy Spirit, that's going on? Messages for my Scorpios. What is this gossip, Holy Spirit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gossip going on about you, Scorpio, because the Empress came out. All right, Scorpio, so there's a lot of gossip going on, okay? Word around town, Scorpio, you up here doing some, some things. You're doing some strange things for this change that you done got. And people trying to figure out, now how the fuck did Scorpio get to become this empress? You know what I'm saying? How did they become so beautiful and independent and self-sufficient, okay? I feel like you're going to be in this energy, if you are not now, Scorpio, that you will be looking at everything that you have accomplished because this was not an easy road see that's the thing people up here talking about you trying to figure out how you got this and how you got that how you got this new car how you got your beautiful house how you get this shit but they just don't know baby this road to you becoming this empress okay this road to you becoming this this uh entrepreneur or being in this nine of pentacles energy okay you enjoying the fruits of your labor baby that road was not easy but yet still people trying to figure out you know what i'm saying they talking over here trying to figure out what you got going on and how you did it okay so yes the gossip scorpio is about your ass here okay tell us more holy spirit so there's some gossip going on people trying to figure out scorpio how the fuck you done became this empress and how did you step into this this nine of pentacles energy so what happened in the recent past some of you could be dealing with a Libra. We got Virgo and we had Gemini. What happened in the recent past, Holy Spirit, with my beautiful Scorpios? Messages for my Scorpios. What happened in the recent past? Knight of Swords. So in the recent past, Scorpio, okay, you could have received some type of information that shocked you, okay? I feel like you went through a lot of mental challenges. I feel like before... You stepped into this energy, okay? I feel like there was a lot of challenges that you went through, but I feel like there could have been some type of information that you received that shocked you. You know what I'm saying? Like you found out some type of truth that either hurt you, it shocked you, or hell, it could have hurt you and it shocked you. But I feel like whatever that truth was, Scorpio, it kind of was some truth that kind of set you free. I feel like some of you were still holding on to a person, holding on to people, situations, and it was like if, if spirit didn't, you know what I'm saying, remove that veil from your face and start showing you about 
people you are around, okay? Your family, your friends, your own mom and dad, sisters, brother, cousin, people that you've been calling friends for a long time. If you didn't really get to see how these people were, you know what I'm saying? You really never would have stepped into this energy and started focusing on yourself, okay? In that last reading I did, you know, it talks about being in the Nine of Cups energy. I feel like you're very proud of yourself, you know, because you knew, Scorpio, you know. If don't nobody else know, you know that this road to being in this energy, baby, that shit was not easy. So when you can sit back and you can enjoy the fruits of your labor, all that hard work, all those long nights, all those days in the road, Scorpio, all those frustrating times that you went through trying to accomplish your goals, when you really get to enjoy that shit, that shit hit differently. And see, people don't understand that all they get to see is the end of results. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people didn't get to see the struggle that we went through to get to this energy, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, what's the problem then? So what is the problem, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. What is the problem here? Page of Cups. Ah, shit. So I feel like even though, Scorpio, you may have not known that as you were rising to the top, you know what I'm saying, you have had secretly people that's been watching you, okay? People that you really have been inspiring and some people that's been rooting for you, right? But the problem is now, Scorpio, now that you're this empress, okay, now you're very beautiful, you're very handsome, you nurtured yourself, you birthed this whole new you, okay, and this whole new you, baby, is a money maker, okay, this whole new you, baby, is out here getting this money, okay, you out here inspiring people, you out here showing people that you are the best version of you, okay, you ain't worried about that gossip, that's the thing about it, people up here talking about you, Scorpio, and you ain't even fucked up about it, but the problem is now, that you're in this energy, okay? Now someone, Scorpio, has been watching you. Now they got their eye on you, okay? Now someone, Scorpio, wants to open up and express themselves. Now they want to wanna talk, okay? So I feel like for some of you, it's going to take you blowing the fuck up, okay? Before someone here sees your word. Like, it's like everybody's going to be seeing you, but it's, it's certain people, you know, that's really going to have to see you step into this energy and be like, oh, shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really messed up. So now, Scorpio, the problem is that you're in this energy. Now, Scorpio, somebody wants to share their feelings. Now, somebody wants to wants to open up to you. Tell us more, Holy Spirit, about this page of cups. Tell us more. Ooh, damn, that came out quick. Yeah. And this person, Scorpio, they wants to, to open up and share their feelings. And that's been watching you, Scorpio, is this person that was indecisive in the past okay this person scorpio they just can't make up their mind about you this person scorpio they just didn't know if you was the right man or the right woman you know this person had all these other options they had all these other men and other women other things scorpio that they, they felt like filled their cup so now scorpio that you in this light now this person seeing you glow up now it's making this person realize your worth this person didn't realize your worth in the past For some of us, Scorpio, our, our people, our, our twins, our family, you know, they really never expected us to become much any damn way. So to have to sit back and watch us, you know what I'm saying, step into this light, like we got people out here shook, you know what I'm saying, because a lot of people want to stain our name, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people wanted us to be this and be that and, and they talked about us and put us down, but then we fucked around and became somebody. Now they're like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like now this person wants to offer you love because they're having to sit back, Scorpio, and watch you glow up. And this is the same person, Scorpio, that you had to learn some harsh for truth about. Tell us more. What are the outside influences? Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. So what are the outside influences? What, what are the influences that's making this person want to offer Scorpio this cup of love? What are the outside influences? Mm. Okay, so the outside influences that this person, for some of you, this is your divine counterpart. Okay, you could be dealing with a cancer, doesn't have to be. Is that this person knows what they want now. See, in the past, Scorpio, when you were dealing with this person, they really didn't know which direction they were going in. Because remember, they had a lot of options. And these options created some type of an illusion to where this person couldn't make a decision. Okay, it could have been somebody 
that created these illusions for this person or it was just a whole lot of options like this person just didn't know whether they go left or right north or west you know what i'm saying this person didn't know which way to go but now this person is moving with purpose okay now they know the direction that they want okay now they have clarity of mind see they're not here trying to figure out which cup to choose from and which option is going to be the best option because this person knows they had to sit back and watch it you know what I'm saying? Now this person knows exactly what they want, okay? And for some of you, this person will have to travel to you because you ain't in the same spot. Some of you have moved. Like, you literally moved. You know what I'm saying? And this person's going to have to travel. But they want to work towards the same goals, okay? This is someone who didn't want to work toward the same goals as you in the past. This is someone who was very selfish, and they were only worried about themselves, okay? But it took you growing up, okay? It took you... Stepping into this life where this person would be like, oh, hell no. You know what I'm saying? I can't let, I can't miss this opportunity with Scorpio. So what are the hopes and fears? Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. What are the hopes and fears, Holy Spirit, of this situation? What are the hopes and fears, Holy Spirit? Oh, this person fears, Scorpio, that now that you're in this Queen of Pentacles energy, Scorpio, because we got the Queen of Pentacles, we got the Nine of Pentacles, baby, and we got the Empress. Like, Scorpio, you out here doing it big, big. Do you hear me? Look at this. Male or female, you guys, because you know all in the end we're trying to become this feminine energy, okay? With this Empress, Scorpio, like I said, this is your divine counterpart. You're stepping into your divine feminine energy, and when you do, Scorpio, you're going to be very abundant. Okay, with this Queen of Pentacles, I'm telling you, babe, I don't know what you're doing, but you're going to have lots of money. Okay, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, let's look at this Queen, baby. Let's look at this Queen, baby. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, some of you guys, you have your own business, and it's like your business is just going to take off out the blue, okay? Enjoy, I'm telling you, enjoying the fruits of your labor. But Scorpio, even though you're going to have money, even though you're going to be very successful, Scorpio, you're still going to be laid back. You're still going to be chilling. You're still going to be the same OG. You're still going to be that same old Scorpio that you were in the past. Like, you're not going to let this money, you're not going to let this success. Some of you guys are going to be famous. You're not going to let this shit go to your head because you knew. You knew the journey that it took for you to be. You see, when you know the struggle, baby, when you really, really go through the struggle and then you reach the top, baby, you be so appreciative for that shit because you knew what it took for you to get there. And you know, Holy Spirit, to take that shit from you, any false move, any wrong step you make, you know, shit, it can be gone like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you really, when you step into this energy, you be like, it's like overwhelming almost because you be like, man, I made it. Like, this is the energy of shit, I made it. And a lot of you are going to make it by yourself. You know what I'm saying? You were supposed to have your king of pentacles here with you, okay? You were supposed to have your divine master, your emperor. You're supposed to have this person with you every step of the way, but they weren't. So a lot of us, Scorpio, are going to be successful all by themselves. So let's see what the outcome of this situation is. Then. So this person, whole Scorpio, and now you got this money, now you're successful, now that you're famous, now you all this Scorpio, this shit. That you still willing to give this person a chance. Like they they haven't missed this opportunity with you. What is going to be the outcome of this situation for my Scorpios? I love you, Scorpio. What is going to be the outcome, Holy Spirit? Mm. Let's look at this ace of pentacles in reverse. The outcome is going to be, Scorpio, that this person from your past will be returning, okay? Six of Cups. Some of you, this is your twin flame, okay? Or someone from your past, right? And the outcome is, Scorpio, with this Ace of Pentacles is that you will be having a change of heart. With this Ace of Pentacles in reverse, okay, especially if this is talking about your divine counterpart, with this Ace of Pentacles being in reverse, it talks about that you or someone, Scorpio, could be having a change of heart. And that person, Scorpio, is you. You're going to be the one. I feel like even though, Scorpio, you're going to be very successful, even though, you know, you're in this energy of your money good and, you, you know, you still going to want this. This queen always going to want her king 
to sit there on that throne. Like you truly won't be happy until you have that king sitting there on that throne with you, okay? So I feel like for some of us, including me, you know, in the end, we might be winding up giving this person a chance if they come to us the right way. You know what I'm saying? The right way, with purpose, knowing what they want. You know what I'm saying? You actually can give this person a chance if they come to you the right way, if they explain, you know, come at me, just let me know what's going on. For some, you know what I'm saying? For some, you're like, uh-uh, I'm good. But person, this, this is what they fear, Scorpio. They fear now that you done made a big, now that you done did this, you done did that, that. You know what I'm saying? You, you ain't going to want them no more. But in the end, Scorpio, you will be giving this person another chance, okay? Let's go to the who did. Let's see who Scorpio will be giving another chance. All right. Remember, Scorpio, I can be describing you or I can be describing your person. All right, Holy Spirit, who is this reading about? <laughs> Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Who is this reading about? Scorpio, you can be age 25 to 30. This could be about someone who has a short, I mean, uh, salt and pepper beard. We have short hair. Who is this reading about for my Scorpio? Scorpio, you can be aged 35 to 40. Wear braces. Have gray eyes. Have a mole. All right, let's get a couple of more. Who is this reading about for my Scorpio? All right, just wanted to jump out. Okay, we got green eyes. So we got green, gray eyes. Who is this reading about, Holy Spirit? All right, this could be about a young female. You can be the young female, or this person can be younger than you. All right, this could be someone who wears lashes and has tattoos. I don't think I went through all the time, so I'm just going to roll the dice, Scorpio. Who is this reading about? Okay, we have Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Aquarius. We also have Sag, Capricorn, Aries, Pisces. And we also have Virgo, Hippie, Taurus, and Aries. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.